Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect that clouds his judgment regarding deviants. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. 
Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Uh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Big Ben's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Made their way up to the whole building. 
passed all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. managed to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. Destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it, it's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. Connor, Connor, are you all right? Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jeez. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. For fuck's sake, I told you not to move! Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I felt it die. Like I was dying. I was scared. I saw something, in its memory, a word, painted on a piece of rusty metal, Jericho.